It's a house. Is this them? For the past two days, Don Detweiler and pilot Mike Ellis have been dropping bags of food to the hundreds of people marooned in the mountains. We're just trying to get food and the, uh, the necessary items to the people that are unable to get out. We'll take this baby food up here to Bluff Mountain and drop it off. Then we'll come back into the airport and then we'll load up and go to Ski Mountain. This will be a quick trip in and out. They work like a well-oiled machine, every couple of hours reloading bags of food, manna from heaven for the hundreds stuck in the snow. We circle the areas to where we can get the attention of the people in the homes and naturally when they come out, we hover as low as we can. The Sevier County Sheriff's Office, TEMA, the Salvation Army, and Helicopters of Tennessee joined forces for this massive effort, along with countless volunteers. You'd be surprised at the way the people let you know that they need food. We've seen people run out with signs that say food. We've, uh, they've taken rocks and made huge, huge letters for food. It's been a long two days, yet everyone still moves about quickly. Don Detweiler served 22 years in the National Guard, so he's a veteran at airdrops. But this is the first time he's done this as a civilian. They're dropping bread, canned foods, staples to keep the people going until they can fend for themselves again. You always seem like you're forgetting somebody. You know, it seems like there's somebody out there. That you, you, there's somebody standing there that's wanting food, waiting for you to fly over. We come in and we swoop down like Santa Claus and throw out our little bag of groceries and, and wave at them and they thank us and we head out. What a great feeling that must be. It is. Them so much. It is a great feeling. They've covered Bluff Mountain, English Mountain, the Chalet Villa, the Summit, Cobbly Knob, areas where hundreds of people sit stranded, cold and hungry, waiting and hoping to dig out of the snow and go home. All right, let's go. 